so I am going to um, answer two questions I've been getting, which would be, where do I get my effects, and which effects do I use? So I mostly get my effects from Neo's clip archive, which I would put in the description, and other websites which I can't think of right now. And which effects do I use? That's kind of hard to answer because I use a lot of stock footage in correlation with Sony Vegas effects. So I will try to show you guys one of the kinds of effects I do by manipulating stock footage. So hopefully it looks okay. I'm just winging this out right now. All right. So of course you have SV open and here's the clip I'm going to use. It's just some guy with a bunch of clones and I have my stock footage right here. It's only a few. I have a lot, a lot more. <laughs> so you want to import your stock footage and insert some video tracks. Okay. So just pick one random stock footage. I'm going to pick um, the rain. I mean the bubbles. Let's try that one. Okay. So the first thing I usually do is I blur the shit out of this thing yeah just blur it like that so that you can't see the bubbles because realistic bubbles and maple story doesn't really go well together in my opinion I don't know maybe it's just me so then go to compositing mode which is located right here click on that I usually do multiply or overlay or add so um, let's try multiply and Clearly, you cannot see the character, but we will soon, I think. Let me just shorten this. Okay. So, now let's choose, um, well, let's brighten it up, actually. Just get a bump map and just smack it on there. Increase the brightness a bit. Okay. Now, choose another stock footage. This is one of my favorites. Orange dots. And then, yeah, just do the same thing. Get the blur. I use extreme blur like all the time. And then, let, um, let's do overlay. So you can see how it changed. So this is how it looks without the dots. This is how it looks with the dots. All right, so let's put another one on. Let's try this pink one. I use this pink one a lot also. Let me just shorten it. So yeah, see how you have like stock footage upon stock footage upon stock footage? Alright, so this one I'm going to blur. And then I'm going to, um, let's do overlay. So you can see how it changed. Okay, so now I'm going to put this number of flash clouds over it. This is also one of my favorites because you can it provides like this black foggy circle around all of them but of course you gotta blur it because I don't want those numbers to show. And then let's uh let's do overlay and see the white part it um you can see through it now and yeah and then you just zoom in See, and then you can position where, how much black you want. Maybe you can also use this as a transition. Um, let's do it like that. And I don't know, let's just um, smack some sparkles on there. Because everybody likes sparkles. Yay, sparkles. Sorry, my quality's down because I'm going to lag like crazy. So this is how it would look on full. Now... If this doesn't turn out the way you like, you can always move around the layers, like, or mute them. Sometimes I mute them like that. Oh, that looks a little, I think I like that better. <laughs> so you can always, like, move, um, the dots below the rain. That ain't too much. Or the rain above the pink. Just anywhere you like it. Um, I actually like that. I think I'm gonna go with that. So, yeah, just put a bunch of stock footage on top of each other. Experiment. Be sure to blur. Um, I 
think hard edges are very unattractive. And yeah, that's how I would do it. Um, it should turn out something like this. And yeah, hopefully that helps some of you guys, I guess, to um, copy my style, but that's okay. <laughs> so yeah, I'll be putting links about where I get my stock footage from. And I don't know, hopefully you guys make some cool looking effects. Alright, hopefully this helped. Adios.